everybody. We are here with Rob. He's the office manager for Tom West Blueberries and we're at their blueberry farm today enjoying this amazing spurt of weather that we've gotten here that's like Random a little bit cool cooler. <laughs> it's so nice and the perfect day to come visit a blueberry farm. So he's going to show us around, tell us a little bit about the berries and kind of show some of the things that you can do here. Tom West is a, a local farm in Orlando here, actually in Ocoee. Ocoee. Mm -hmm. And um, they mm -hmm. distribute their berries to a lot of different businesses as well to use in different um, like products and things. And we also sell their blueberries in our store at the pharmacy. So um, let's get going. Okay. Show us a little bit of where we are well, and what we've Right got. now, this is our main farm that's open to the public. We actually have two farms. Um, this is our public one. So okay. people can come here seven days a week, nine to five, and pick their own berries. Um, awesome. And that's just during the season, which is Just during what? the season, which is usually March until about early June, late May. Okay. It really kind of depends on when the fruit starts to fizzle out. Oh, okay. Right now we're at peak, so if you look at the bushes, they're covered. I mean, they're they just loaded. tons of berries. And some of them aren't even ripe yet because yeah. they just bloomed. Awesome. So you can Ooh, see, see a bunch of different stuff are. on there. Yeah. These are all different. They're like, this one's ready. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep, and when you come out to pick the berries, you always want to pick the, like, the the darkest, kind of like a deep purple, mm -hmm. almost, berry, because those are going to usually be the sweeter, juicier ones. Right. Whereas the more kind of red or like light purple they are, they're going to be a little bit more tart because they're not fully ripe yet. Yes. So that's the benefit of picking them yourself, because mm -hmm. you can pick out the sweetest, most ripe and ready ones uh, versus ones that they might, you know, that might be picked to be in most grocery stores. Um, mm -hmm. They're picking them a little bit less ripe, so they'll last a little bit longer. So what kind of different varieties? do you guys have here? Well, we have on this farm, we have a couple different varieties. I'm if you go down, down toward one. the gate where you first enter, uh -huh. you have the spring highs and then the prima donnas going up to there. And those okay. are usually the sweeter berries. Um, back here where we're at now are a mix of the emeralds and the jewels. Cool. The jewels are a little farther to our left and the emeralds are a little farther back this way. Okay. Um, the emeralds are a little bit sweeter as well, more kind of like a mellow berry, so they're not tart, they're not super sweet, they're kind of just in the middle. Awesome. Um, the emeralds, or sorry, the jewels are the... Uh, cut through here. <laughs> are the sorry. ones that we're kind of in now, so. Awesome. Making my way through the, through the bushes. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna go back this way so we could show all the other things that are going on here, sorry. Um, yeah, we awesome. have a lot of different activities here too. Um, we have the play set, of course, the bounce house. We do have a couple picnic tables. A lot of people like to pack their lunches and that come on, like on the weekends or during the week if they're off work, out of school, uh -huh. um, how, kind of make a day out of it. Yeah. So they'll come, they'll pick, they'll have lunch, they might pick a little more or they'll just play on the play playground. Um, on the weekends, we have boat rides, tractor rides. That is so much fun yeah. <laughs> for the entire family. Our toddler right now is busy in this bounce house over here which is really nice because he's made and found a couple of friends and um, so he's having fun bouncing around yeah so you can have <laughs> like one parent letting your kids play and go wild while the other one can pick or and having the kids come and pick although they want to eat pretty much their weight in blueberries i, I mean, know it happens you know <laughs> it, it's just one of those inevitable things so. Yeah, that's awesome. So what, um, which kind of berries did you say? Those were the emerald and other ones that are the, these? The emeralds and the jewels are back there. The spring highs and the prima donnas are up here closer to the front um, as we get farther to the gate. And what's the main difference in those versus these? The flavor. Okay. So these are going to be a little sweeter. Okay. These are going to be like your more sweet berries where if you just want like a handful of a snack, and you want it to be kind of healthy, well, yeah. very healthy, <laughs> um, <laughs> you just, you'll probably want to eat these rather than the kind of more bitter ones. Okay, got it. Well, I know um, is, this season is a really awesome and sweet, pun intended, it's a sweet <laughs> season um, to bring your family out and to have fun at um, a local you pick. So we definitely want everybody to come out and support you guys um, because working with local farms is what we want to promote and what we do so we hope um, that you guys can make it out here to Tom West there's so much to do as he said like 
with um, like the whole family come out and bring a picnic, mm -hmm. enjoy being in the fields and picking and sampling the different types of blueberries. Exactly. And um, oh, and blueberry ice cream on the weekends. <gasps> blueberry ice cream, and I saw there's blueberry popsicles. Oh, we do and have we should head up popsicles. to the front so we could see some of the other blueberry yeah, sure. things we have that we've got. Pretty much all of our products here. We actually sell a bunch of different stuff. Awesome. Um, we have blueberry muffins. We have jams. We have honey. And all of our honey that we get and sell here is actually from our farm. So from our bees that we, we ship in because our bees, not all of them belong to us. Uh -huh. Some of them we have to bring in to pollinate. Um, blueberry honey, or um, pollen is actually stickier and heavier than a lot of really? other pollens. Oh. So it doesn't pollinate in the breeze like a lot of other plants would. Yeah. So we heavily rely on the bees to come in and do that for us. Gotta so we have to bees. ship in bees and <laughs> they do their thing for a little while. And then once they're done, they get shipped away and then they come back, Aww. they get shipped back. So I bet and then, they like their vacation here yeah. in Florida. <laughs> I mean, it's probably, probably a little warmer than some other places right now. <laughs> yeah, that's that's so funny. I would never think about shipping bees in to do that. You know, but when I a, first started job. working here, I found that out and I was like, huh, I would never have thought. Because I see the little beehives that we have uh -huh. around the farm and I'm just like, oh, well, these are bees. Well, no, we have a lot more. They just get shipped away. <laughs> <laughs> the bees have a very important role to play or we wouldn't have our berries very or true. a whole bunch of other things. It'd be a lot harder to pollinate the blueberries. And so, actually, bumblebees pollinate twice as many of our plants as honeybees do. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. We that sure is do. so. <laughs> it's just a random fact that. Yeah. A, a bee, it's kind of bee, fun. Yeah. Bee, bee factoid. So <laughs> exactly. you can really appreciate the fact that you have um, honey that the the traveling bees have the honey made for is, you. <laughs> and the honey is really good. It helps me because I have really bad allergies, uh -huh. and I found that like. Just eating the honey locally sourced helps with my allergies. Yes, because so. it's getting all the pollen from here, obviously, exactly. like right around here. So, and it's a lot right now. Oh, here's <laughs> this um, example of that honey that those bees that you guys yep. have shipped in to do their little job have done. Yep. So it looks awesome and delicious. I will have to try some of that. And actually new this year, we actually have blueberry applesauce. Ooh. which I've heard has been pretty good. It's been a, a big seller for us so far this year. I think our muffins are actually one of our top sellers. The muffins and the honeys yeah. are the top sellers. I could definitely go for a little of all that right now. And I bet you <laughs> my toddler would like this applesauce. And that reminds me too, we actually sell in our store um, maple blueberry sausage that's made with you guys as blueberries too. We do have sausage as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. It's really delicious. That's one yes. of our favorite things. It's like having uh, blueberry pancake sausage, delicious. I've had blueberry so pancakes for weeks. I took some blueberries home and I, they last a long time. If you keep them in the refrigerator, yeah. they last a long time. Yes. And if you freeze I, them, they last even longer. Yeah, so that's a good thing to do for you guys like um, who are interested in reducing like your waste and your plastic consumption. And instead of getting little clamshells of things, you can come here and get whole buckets and mm -hmm. save them and freeze them. I mean, they do, I know um, we haven't had a chance to pick yet this season. We're gonna pick some today. Yeah. But uh, last season we would pick like by the bucket and mm -hmm. then they lasted like several weeks in our refrigerator. Yes. Whenever you leave them like unwashed because they have that little protective They have waxy a protective waxy layer coating. on them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we are super excited for your berries this season and thank you for showing us around. You guys be sure to bring around your family on the coming weekends yep. where um, you can put them on the train rides and the, um, the bounce house riding. and the, the boat ride. Yeah, that's a lot and of fun. And the ice cream, because people love the ice cream. Yes. The popsicles, but the popsicles so are always fun. here, so. Awesome. Yeah. Well, we're super looking forward to that. So um, you guys be sure to come out to Tom West. What's the address and your hours again that you have here right um, now? We're at 324 East Orlando Avenue in Ocoee, Florida, and it's seven days a week, nine to five. Okay, great. So come. Get them while the getting's good, y'all. Yep, we're at peak right now, so we've got about a month left. Yes, and um, on a weekday like this, it's a little less hectic, but on the weekends, yes. you get to come enjoy all the extra stuff. So And it's very busy. Um, so. Come enjoy with the whole family, and if you can't make it, all, as always, you can come in store to the pharmacy. We will have their fresh berries there every week. Every week. As long as we can. <laughs> so thank you, guys. Thank you so Thanks much, for Rob, coming out. for showing us around. <laughs> of we'll course, hope to it was see my pleasure. Soon.